What I find absolutely amazing is that um, the Chinese government has simultaneously done two things. They have invested mightily in the internet infrastructure. 700 million plus Chinese are online in China. So there's been huge investment in implementation, fiber networks, online uh, assets of various kinds. And at the same time, they have introduced a substantial degree of control. Uh, and this is scary in some respects and painful uh, to watch because, of course, many of us hoped that the Internet would inhibit exactly that kind of control. But, in fact, the Chinese have demonstrated it's possible to filter uh, a great deal of content, uh, to use legal methods, uh, and I suppose some people would say illegal methods, in order to limit what people are, are able to say. Uh, the, you've noticed that there are some very big companies that have evolved in the Chinese internet environment, Alibaba, for example, and Baidu, and so on, uh, WeChat. These companies are substantial in scale. They rival, uh, in terms of numbers of users, many of the other uh, large companies that you see here in the United States and elsewhere. But they are uh, largely uh, under uh, Chinese uh, control with regard to censorship. So what we're seeing uh, is a kind of reaction to the openness and freedom in the internet. It translates into fragmentation. Uh, it translates into some other things which are even more disturbing for me personally anyway. Uh, and these are attempts by uh, national governments to extend in an extraterritorial way their control over content.